How's it going, guys and girls? So you probably want to do an API scan. So let's create a folder. Click on API scan. And you get this. Essentially a separate product popping up, okay? Now we have a Swagger pet store here with a interface definition file. So let's just do URI, Universal Resource Identifier. And it immediately brings back a post. So you can go in here, doing a request up here at the top. There we go. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And we call it Fleur Funk. So it's the 11th. Okay. So now this is a request, and we're going to send it off by clicking on Run. Okay. And then if we go down here to pet, which is the interface, we're going to get a pet by ID. Uh, click on the method and then click on request. We search for one, two, three, four, five. And there we go. It takes a little while to update. Uh, we get back Fleurfunk 11. Or yeah, that's today's date. And that's basically the, the, the quick way of getting started with an API test. Okay. So now you can uh, you can click on close, okay. Want to save it? You can just import a subset. Hang on. Uh, there you go. Import a subset. Okay. So if you look inside here, you'll see a folder. Swagger Pet Store. You got all your methods. Cool, huh? You can post the pet. So, okay, so you've imported your API structure, and then you've got your module here. Post add pet, just drag it down. Click on technical view, and then you can, you know, call it something else like 12, and just run that and you can capture the response using that module. It's that simple. All right, guys, best of luck with that. Any questions, comments, uh, post it below. Cheers.